Good morning, everyone. So my name is Wendy Literal with Creation Depot, and I'm going to head and ask you to like and subscribe before we get started, just because I know you're going to run through this really quick. So if your WordPress site is asking you that you need to update and you're seeing something like this where it says PHP update required in your WordPress site, let's talk about that because it's really easy to fix, but every hosting company kind of has their own way of going about it. So I'm going to first go over the most general version and I'm going to talk about the cPanel up here you can see. And then I'm also going to talk about GoDaddy and Bluehost, how to update the PHP version in each one of those. They're all basically the same steps. They're just the slightly different. So before we do anything, you need to hop over to your dashboard in WordPress and you need to go over to your updates and just make triple doubly sure that all of your updates are as good as you can get. Now, I always back up my site before I do any massive changes. So if you have the ability to, to do a backup, I tend to use all-in-one WP migration. I'm not migrating it anywhere, but I'll activate it, make a copy of the site and then deactivate it again. And then that seems to just be the fastest way. You can also go over here to your tools. I'm sorry, yeah, tools, and then go to export and it will give you an XML file of your whole site, but it doesn't back up things like images and that kind of stuff. It's just the actual content, like the text. Just make sure that you have the latest version of WordPress and make sure that you have updated all of your plugins and all of your themes. If you don't use your themes or any plugins, get rid of the extra fluff because they do slow down your site. From here, once you have updated stuff and you've done your backup, changing your version of PHP won't break your site. It just, like, it won't mess with the content of your site, but it can break your site if you update it and you don't have the latest stuff. So the reason that you update is because newer versions of code tend to be compatible with the latest version of PHP. Get yourself the latest version of everything Thing, and then go to the next step. The next step is popping over here to your control panel and what your control panel is, is going to look like, like I said, different for different hosting companies, but they all follow the general same premise. If you have a C panel that looks like this control panel, C panel, scroll down until you see software and select PHP version. Now I'm going to pause here and show you, um, and I will have links to these in the description box below, but basically this is what you'll see. If you go to GoDaddy, the, each one of these different hostings, they each have a different way of setting the PHP. If you're looking for GoDaddy specifically, check the description box below. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's it's generally the same thing, but they have different looking drop downs. And to change the one in Bluehost, it's a similar thing, but everything looks slightly different. And they call theirs PHP config. So let me hop back here and show you the general walkthrough, and then you can apply it to your specific host. So you want to pop down here to select PHP version. Once you get in here, you're going to see that you have your current PHP version set in front of you. It will say something like PHP version. It'll say um, just version. You just want to look around for the one that's looking like it's got a, a drop down of versions. Generally, you want to choose the latest one and then make sure each, each one's different, but make sure that you save it in control panel, it's set as current to make it your current PHP one. It's going to think about it. You're done. And then over here on Bluehost, you're going to scroll down a little bit further. Again, all these are going to be in the bottom, but they do have a walkthrough here about where to get to it. And then once you select which version you want to use, you got to make sure you save it. I point that out because a lot of people will change it, then they'll leave the site and thinking that it's already happened and it hasn't. And then you'll just be kicking yourself. But what I want to show you is now notice I have not updated everything but I want to show you what happens when I go see this in a new tab. I get a, there has been a critical error on this website and you notice I refreshed. You are going to have to either clear your cache or refresh so that you can see the true nature of your website because your browser, your, your Chrome, right? It might be showing you what you have the last time you came to the site and not the current latest greatest. So this has been a critical error. So apparently, there's something with my site, something in my updates that does not like the current PHP version as eight. So like I said, PHP is not breaking your site. It's like in terms of like the content and the, the files on your site it has nothing to do with that. So the only thing I have to do to fix this is hop over to my control panel, go back and just set it to the other version and set as current. If you are finding that you have done updates and everything is still breaking, even with the new PHP one, just keep walking your versions back until you find one that works. And now if I come over here and I refresh, I should see my homepage. And there it is. Yep. See? So that's all there was to it. So I bet you if I update these, 
I won't have a problem with it. But that's the that's the general walkthrough. And I'm including GoDaddy and Bluehost for the PHP version selection because like these are most these are really common ones. I don't recommend personally any of these. I do have a, a company that I do recommend called Green Geeks. They're phenomenal. Their control panel looks a little dated, it's a little outstyled, but they, their customer service is just like rock star awesome. So I'm going to leave them in the description box below as well. But if you guys have any questions or if something's just not working, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And if it's something that's really common, I'll go ahead and make a video about it just to be clear. And then I'll come back and link it in this video description. So with that, I'm off. If you guys have any questions, again, leave them in the comment below. Give me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.